Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today, let's talk about should you summon on the Ashura Zoro banner. I know a lot of people went ham on this banner. I know I did. Unfortunately, I had to go full pity. As usual, same as Lucci's banner, but today, let's just talk about further if you should summon on him, right? So, I would say, if you like PvP, definitely summon. This guy is insane when it comes to PvP, right? His 2 source style and 3 source style have different types of skills. Switching between back and forth between these modes is really good. You get additional skills, a lot of versatility, as well as his parry is insane. So he is a solid top pick for PvP. So definitely summon if you like PvP and you are competitive in PvP. So, also, you should summon if you just have Crocodile or if you just have Luchi, right? You need a second red unit, so definitely summon if that's the case. If you have Luchi and Crocodile and tend to play PvP casually, I would say save up. Because we already have leaks about Kizaru and Kuma. And they sh could be yellow. I think they're definitely yellow because Ashra Zoro is red. So the next unit is going to be yellow. So definitely save up for the next yellow unit. So that's what I think on if you should summon on Zoro. So now let's look into building up Zoro in depth. So let's talk about his build. I know a lot of people are confused on how to build him. The game gives you a recommended set, which is the Crocodile set. Three sets of Crocodile is 20% on attack, 20% on health. So, really good. If you don't like attack, you could switch out with Luchi's card, which is also compatible with red units. This gives you 30% in crit rate and 20% on health. Three sets. So, let's say if you don't have the golden cards you could equip Zoro with either Luffy which gives you 12% on attack boost and 10% on health or you could actually use Smoker which gives you the crit rate so I want to test them out I'm definitely choosing crit rate but I want to see how attack boost goes so yeah that's the build now let's just talk about his skills. Okay, now let's just talk about two sword style mode. So this is his first skill, right? It's a long range attack. His first skill can also be targeted at different directions. So it's very convenient if let's say your opponent's like a runner, you can target where it wants to go. His sub skill is like a long lunge attack forward, and then you can also navigate that as well, which is mad nice. Pretty cool. His second skill is like that, it gives you partial invincibility, and his sub skill is like this swirling attack, similar to A rank Zoro. Also, his special is similar to A rank Zoro, which is that type of attack. And now let's talk about his parry, right? He has an extra card where, it, where you can parry. Let me enable the opponent's attack. Look at that. Mad nice. Very, very convenient, right? Let me, let me, see, let me see if I can do it again. Bro, this guy's moving mad fast. Yo, calm down, bro. See, like that. Mad nice. I really like that, man. It's a total game changer in PvP if we have that. Um. So yeah, let me let me unenable opponent. Okay. So yeah, 
really really good another thing i want to point out in two sword style is that his basic attacks his attack speed is really really low compared to his three sword style so something to take note of now let's talk about three sword style so in order to switch to and from two sword style and three sword style it's basically three basic attacks one two three and then hold on the fourth oh wait didn't go one two three See? So let's talk about a few things in 3 source style. So the first skill is similar to the 2 source style. Nothing too special there. However, his second skill. Right? Second skill is a beast. Look at that range. Not only has range, he can also navigate where you want to go as well. Man, nice. Man, nice. So. It's like a certain hit if you get, get caught on this one. Really good. And his uh, sub skill is that tornado attack similar to Mihawk. Really, really good. And his special. Really good damage there. Mad nice. Also, something to take note of. His attack speed really increases in 3 source style. So, I would say... Do two sword style first and then switch right into three sword style to do even more damage and you have access to a variety of skills here as well. So let's just talk about a few things in the extra card. As you guys know this is the extra card for the parry. Using this would automatically switch into two sword style. This is his three sword style extra card. So using this extra card would automatically switch into three sword style. But I tend to use this, right? Because there's so many advantages over this. You have you have the parry. So, very, very nice. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, Zoro got a ton of skills in him, man. He's mad nice. So, yeah. Hope you guys like the video. Um, I hope you guys find this video helpful. I'll try to make more of these type of videos right after a banner drops, so it would be helpful for you guys to decide on if you guys want to, like, summon or not. So, yeah. On to the next video. Bye.